hello guys welcome back to our channel so today in this video we are going to talk about one of the coding question that is move all zeros to the end of an array this question i personally got uh, like i was encountered in metal exam which was conducted by wipro so at that time my uh, my experience was three plus so three years plus experience i was having so at that time i i have encountered this question so let us see how uh, how we can give a solution to this so uh, I have two approaches. Uh, in the first approach, approach one. Uh, let us uh, firstly initialize an array. So consider this as an input. So let us take some random zero nine, zero one, six, zero seven, and zero. So what the expected output is? Output would be like this. Output would be uh, nine comma one comma six comma seven zeros four zeros are there so this would be the output so you have to move all the non zeros to the right to the front and all the zeros to the back of an array so how we can do how uh, we just uh, we can take one more array we can declare one more array which is output output array that equals new new int of array that is input array because it cannot be greater than the input array okay fine so now what i'll do i'll use on for loop this is a traditional way of solving int i equals zero i less than array length and i plus plus so if at all if array it i position is greater than zero then only i'll add it to the output okay output but at what position suppose uh, take as a variable k and I need to initialize this variable int k equals to 0 k plus plus equals arr of i here ends the if condition and here ends the for loop and here I can directly write system dot out dot println of array output are arrays dot to string and output so this this would print this 9 comma 1 comma 7 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0, 0, 0 this would be the output so what we are doing here so we firstly declare a variable k or any temporary variable then i am initializing one more array here with the same length of the input array and I'm using for loop I'm iterating over each variable or, or it, each element here and then if I'm checking each element if it is greater than zero then I'm uh, inserting that at the into the output array and then I'm incrementing the k value to that and as when the in, uh, when we are initializing this array this this output array would get initialized like this how many elements one two three four five six seven eight so zero comma zero comma zero comma zero with eight zero elements it gets initially so what will happen here so once ith element is zero so it is not greater than zero it will skip when the nine comes here k account is zero it will replace the zero with nine then what it will do it will go to next element which is zero this condition gets failed so one again it will increment the count and it will come here one here one will get inserted similarly six and seven gets since inserted here and as these variables were already there so they will be present already so this gets moved to the right okay this is one approach and approach two actually this solution i was i have written in the metal exam but what happened is so the proctor uh, or the invigilator you can say he said uh, this is too easy for you so i want a second approach where you should not uh, initialize one more array so can you give me the solution so then i have to write this on the paper there so what i did i just initialized one variable in k equals to zero and now what i have done i have used enhanced for loop here int n equals so the array, this is the same input i'm using here arr and if at all n greater than zero what i'm doing in the same array at the k Position, I am inserting the n 
that's it this ends the for loop so all the non zeros gets inserted at at the beginning of the array like 9 comma 1 comma 6 comma 7 but still there are few at the four there are still four position where zero non zero elements are present fine so for that what i have done now i have taken one more array here is the trick int i equal to k the kth value what was left here i mean the, the array with that i less than array dot length i plus plus and just and what I am doing at the eighth position, I am directly inserting the zero. That's it. this is the solution. So if I do the sys sys out here again, I'll get the same output: nine comma one comma six comma seven zero 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 zero. So I was selected in the coding round. So this was the solution that I gave in the metal exam. Uh, if at all you don't know about the metal platform, uh, this is a platform for conducting the coding tests. So even this is being used in Cognizant, I think, when you are PAT or PAT. So this is the same metal platform was used in the Vipro interview as well. So this is the solution that what I gave in the metal approach. And after that, I have to write it on the piece of paper without using the extra array. I have given this solution. So both solutions gave the same and I was selected. I hope this video helps you as well. So thanks for watching. And if you like the content, please do like the video, comment if at all you are having a better approach and you can subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed and please do share it to take other technical platforms so that it might help someone in cracking their interviews and all the best if you are preparing for your interviews. So don't forget to subscribe our channel Drunken Engineer. Thanks for watching. Why do we ask our viewers or subscribers to share our videos? The reason for starting this channel was to share real-time interview experiences. A few years back, when we were trying to switch our company, we were not finding out a, a perfect answer like uh, what is the interview process at a respective company or what kind of interview, uh, like interview questions we may encounter in the interview at that company or how much salary we can expect there, like how much we can say, like what we can expect there. So we were not finding it on any site, even on the sites like Glassdoor, we were not able to find the complete picture there. So we have started this channel and why we ask you to share is and we believe that there are many other like us who want to know like similar kind of things. So if you share this video somewhere, someone will get an idea on the interview process or type of questions they are going to encounter in the interview and how much salary they can expect there. So that is the reason we ask you to share our videos.